55 trees, 30,000 lights, 13,000 ornaments, 1,000 poinsettias, and over 8,000 feet of garland. This is Christmas at Biltmore. Elizabeth Borchers is the Biltmore floral manager, and together with her team of 10 full-time and 17 part-time designers, along with most every other employee throughout the estate, the season comes alive here at Biltmore. Borchers takes us on a tour of her favorite rooms. As guests arrive, the entry hall and the tree under the grand staircase are um, decorated with elements that you'll find out on the estate. Um, grapevine balls, um, antlers, turkey feathers. One of my favorite things just driving around the estate is how you'll see all those animals, um, especially early in the morning or late in the day, the turkeys and the deer. We've added a gilded element to all those natural pieces to just tie into the Gilded Age under our theme. To me, the banquet hall is definitely, I think, um, the most special room when it comes to Christmas time because we do know this is where that George was celebrating. Um, this is the first year that the room has been decorated in shades of blue. Um, we intentionally wanted to pull out the colors in the tapestries, um, and that's really the number one comment as guests come in is they say, oh my goodness, look how it matches the tapestries, and you notice those even more, and they're such a beautiful piece in this room, so um, to kind of highlight those was something neat to do this year and, and something different. The banquet hall tree is the only fresh tree in the house, um, and it is the last one to come in. We are now in the Tapestry Gallery. Um, under the umbrella of our overall theme of Vanderbilt Family Christmas, the theme is here in here is Heaven and Nature Sing, kind of a, a combination of both the Gilded Age, which you know was the era that um, the Vanderbilt family name really became big, along with um, the nature and the outdoors that is such a big part of the experience of, of here on the estate. There's lots of gilded twig branches, and pine cones, feathers, you'll also see gold cherubs and, um, and angels on this tree as well. This room is also where the nativity scene is every year. We are now in the library. Um, a lot of guests, this is their favorite room. Um, the designer who decorated this room was really inspired both by George Vanderbilt's travels um, as well as just by the books of adventure and travel that are here in this room. Authors like Jules Verne or H.G. Wells. Um, there's things like hot air balloons and trains, um, astronomy related ornaments all on this tree. There's Chinese fans on this tree. There's a lot of oriental touches. George did travel to um, the Orient to Japan. Um, there, you know, which even reflects the, the Ming fish bowls that are in this room, which are a lot of guests' favorite. I think this particular room does a really great job of kind of um, exemplifying something that really represents the Vanderbilt for Christmas um, and George himself. From the 35-foot-tall Fraser fir in the banquet hall to the opening of the house in the evening, it's very important that George Vanderbilt's vision is continued to be honored. And one of the most special traditions happens during this season. The estate today is still owned and run by um, descendants of George and Edith Vanderbilt. Um, they have done a really great job of carrying on really a tradition that George himself started of celebrating Christmas with all of his employees. Um, Edith would personally pick out gifts for each of the children of all the employees. Um, we have a gift wrapping station that we set up each year in one of the tower rooms because we know that that is where Edith um, wrapped each gift for the for the children and so this you know even now we still have a Christmas party where gifts are purchased for all of the employees children and um, all the employees get to come and celebrate Christmas um, with the family and, and in the house which is just something very special and um, neat that we carry that on um, from way back then. Whether it's employees and their families or visitors from all over the world Christmas at the Biltmore is breathtakingly special.